Hello, hello everyone. I hope your Friday is well. Your week has been amazing for starting off the year on a good foot. I am excited to get back into Talos Principle. I feel like I've smoothed out a couple things that uh, I feel like I should have prepared a little bit more. Um, won't have to won't have to pause for a long time to do the hex decodings. I found a pretty non-spoilery resource that has them uh, decoded as part of reading, so that will be helpful. Um, I've also decided because uh, I do want to do like as close to a 100% run, so like the bonus stars. Um, I've decided what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put like a I'm gonna do a best effort. But if I... I don't want to spend... I don't want to waste too much time circling around them, trying to figure them out. Uh, like I feel like I did yesterday with some of them. I think I will get them off stream if I can't figure them out. Just so it doesn't uh, impede progress. So there, is a, there is a good good bit of puzzles and we've only just dipped our toe into the game. Um... Also, I have I have acquired some reading material, which will obviously help us in um, thinking and philosophizing. Um, I, I I believe this will better help us emulate being a human and uh, passing what I presume is a Turing test, which will be mandatory to escape this um, sort of online puzzle situation we find ourselves in as a robot. But, let us go ahead and jump on in and finish up this area we started. So we did one through four, um, and you can see I, I went back and I got a couple, I, er, I went back and got the bonus stars from the areas we've already done, um, just because, again, I want to, I want to, Maintain forward, forward momentum. So finishing off four means our next one is into five. Two bonus stars. All right. So let's try and let's try and keep our eyes out for for sneaky little stuff. Ooh, oh, oh, this is oh, this is some ideal ideal weather right here. Some nice coastal light rain. Dark overcast sky. Oh, it's thunder. Oh, baby. Give me, give me a nice warm blanket, and I can just take a nap. Let's see what the computer's got for us. All right. So, do do do. Well, let me go on over. Let's check out El HTML. All right, EL, short for Extended Lifespan, is a groundbreaking initiative by seven leading universities to create the world's most stable and most durable supercomputer. With its custom-made hardware, bomb-proof casing, and near-inexhaustible hydroelectric power supply, EL represents a unique step forward in the evolution of human technology. The brainchild of Nobel Prize nominee Dr. Arkady Chernef. Chernevsky, L will and break. So that's like a line break. Links. Download press kit. Meet the team. Pref apply. Pref contact. So that'd be like we got a little bit of HTML uh, fragmentation going on here. Okay. Uh ooh ooh AI citizenship. So this this I find. Very interesting, um, and is something I would say is very important um, as far as like futurism and and thinking of artificial or created sapient life. So let's see what this says. Consider issue one nine nine, Alexander Dark. Once a true artificial intelligence has been created, the issue of citizenship is going to come up. 
if we acknowledge that the AI has all the abilities of the human brain, should it not be considered a citizen? Is it not, in the legal sense of the word, a person, and thus a potential citizen? Where do you draw the line? Some people will check. Will the great apes become citizens? Elephants? Whales? More intelligent parrot species. It's crazy, they will say. I would remind these people that we live in a society in which a corporation, as abstract an entity as one could imagine, is considered a person. So it's not like there is no precedent for a non-human being a person. At least, an artificial intelligence is an actual thinking being, and not just a business arrangement. But perhaps we do not need to question the definition of personhood. Increasing amounts of evidence regarding the intelligence of elephants, or the existence of culture among whales, for example, could be a sign that we need to answer some difficult questions. Who better to debate these questions with than the young genius who revolutionized the flag of the So, I think this is a very good question. Um, you know, granting citizenship. Um, I know the, uh, where was it? The bit about corporations being citizens. So that one's also a bit of interesting thing. And I know, I know that applies to the United States. I don't know how much um, countries in the Russosphere, Eurosphere, uh, Southeast Asia, etc. I don't know. I don't know how non-U.S. or non-Anglosphere countries um, if they have similar laws. Um, obviously, this game is going to be pretty, pretty America or Anglo-centric as far as um, the topics it's going to be thinking on. But um, I remember there being an interesting case of someone um, being being a little cheeky and like having uh, the incorporation documents of a, of a corporation in a passenger seat and driving in the HOV lane, baiting getting arrested by the police or being pulled over by the police for, because uh, hot HOV, high occupancy vehicle lanes, um, if you don't know, are usually like slip streams on highways made for like buses or vehicles with multiple people in them uh, to like reward carpooling. And he was, he or she, I can't remember who it was, was trying to take the piss about the fact that, oh, this is a corporation, it's a person. So, obviously, because it was in my car, I had multiple people in my car. Um, they still got slapped with a fine and all that jazz through some whatever judicial bureaucracy. But I think it's interesting, it, more interrogating the thought of, like, why citizenship? Like, why does it matter if they are a citizen? Because, like, if you think about it, you're a citizen in a country, usually your country of your birth, like, by default, and it's more like you are recognized as a person by a broad, nebulous st nation-state entity, and that justifies your existence. But, like... Nation states and borders are pretty arbitrary. There's no like giant force field that prevents you from crossing, let's say, between the United States and Mexico or the United States and Canada. Uh, the the borders are there because we say they're there, um, and if we collectively agree to not recognize the borders, then like nothing changes. Like there's no reason to limit the movement or limit the exchange of ideas and when you start picking apart at that wall the whole concept of, of citizenship of like tying or forcing yourself to be in one place uh, starts to get a little bit hollow uh, in my opinion um, I don't I don't really I think it's less citizenship of AI is the core question to be to be ruminating on here but more about including artificial intelligence under um, the aegis of humanity like considering an artificially created intelligence basically cre thinking of it as a, a different type of human being uh, albeit not one like 
different between like Neanderthals and Homo sapiens, but like you know we'll have Homo sapiens and then Homo silica. I don't, I don't know, but that that's sort of like more how I would spin on it, thinking of like artificial intelligence either being the next stage of human consciousness or perhaps simply a different or alternative parallel um, chain that we can exist and interact with. And Athena. Ooh. All right, so what do we got on the Athena? You must consider these riddles, the Sphinx said, and tell me the riddle that I did not reveal. The Sphinx smiled, the gears in her jaw creaking, her teeth a nightmare of rust. Her left eye flickered, but none of its terror was diminished. The ruins were silent, in the error. I think, she finally said, that the riddle you do not reveal is this. Why do these riddles exist in the first place? Why do these curious automatons, these mute children of Hesphestus, behave as they do, forcing you to devise these intricate solutions. Each is a riddle, but the greater riddle is their purpose. The Sphinx did not answer. Her eye was lifeless now. Athena removed it from its socket, knowing that its power would aid her, yet feeling also a deep sorrow at the passing of this fearful creature. I feel like the next terminal is probably going to be like analysis of that Athena text. I do think it's kind of interesting we have a through line of some, um, I don't know if it's like an actual short story or book, or if they are adapting classic Greek myths and thematically transposing them into a futuristic, where like the entities are robotics and such, to try and draw parallels of between like robots versus like golems of ancient mythology and like trying to trying to try basically a lot of like classical myths could also be thought of of like humans trying to explain or talk about um thoughts or or modes of, of the world's existence and taking those thoughts and still thinking about them, but recontextualizing them in a more modern analog. So I'll, I'll be I'll be curious if that if that Athena thing has a greater theme that it's running with. Um, oh, and we got it. I think this is another text. So let's go ahead and do this text, and then we'll go and smash through some of these puzzles. Hey, yo. I was in school when I first read about the Talos Principle. I think it disturbed me at the time, made me hyper aware of my body as a physical object, the material reality of the brain, ideas that made me uncomfortable at first, but I think in the long run, it helped me understand how frail human beings are and how precious. It's not a comforting way of thinking about the world, but I'd rather face the truth than lie to myself. Things to do with two boxes. I mean, yeah. Alright, so we can stack boxes. We can steppies on boxes. Can we do like the half-life trick of where like we we, like, place it as we jump. Alright, I guess we can. Uh, okay, let's see what we can do with two boxes. Ooh. Classic classic puzzle boxes on buttons okay 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 so while I went back and did those um, two bonus stars we missed it certainly gave me some ideas as far as what they're doing with the bonus stars 
and how they're hiding them. Um, I definitely need to be much more... I need to, like, you see me going into, like, the trees, like... There's a lot of, like, little sneaky stuff they do to hide um, things you need to trigger or secret passageways that uh, are covered up. What if I put a box? Ooh, okay. I can offset their bouncing. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I wanted to do something over here. Oh, right, the QR codes. So let's see, which one? So let's see. 256. All right, let's, let's, let's presume left to right. What is a hexahedron? Samurai, okay, Samurai version 13, that one's new. Faith, a powerful device fashioned by the designer. A cube. The edges are beveled. That makes it a dodecahedron. Always right. <laughs> you forgot the indents. With indents, it's a like a super polyhedron. Re, re A I Re Al is T seven. Realis seven? <laughs> but the convex hole is a dodecahedron. Topic closed. Wrong. Dog. <laughs> I feel like dog is being a little cheeky because you know dog is the reverse of God. I kind of hope we see more of Dog, if they're if they're a cheeky cheeky little bugger. Ah! All right, that's what I get for being a little froggy, a little too froggy. All right, hit the button, grab the cube. Okay, we've offset them. Ah! Oh, there's QR codes over there. Mm. Alright. Let's, like, lock this one over here. Epitaph. Child program version 8. Codename Apis. Terminated here. Logic. Failed random memory test. Final memory dump. I tried. Again. Again. I cannot understand. I am not enough. Progeny programs, error. Rip Apis. Ooh, okay. So it looks like eventually these these programs can be permanently eliminated. I wonder if when they error out, that's when they spawn new- No, no, can't be when they spawn new ones, because it looks like we do have, like, multiples alive at the same time. Nope, I did that wrong. Interesting. I wonder if we- because that- Aethys had, like, almost 8,000 deaths, basically. So I guess like all those reloads, eventually the um, the number of errors just like grew overwhelming. All right, we got through. I do not understand why the designer chose to put such flaws in the world that it appears almost as if it, as if it were damaged. But I must believe that there is a purpose here I cannot see. 
If the designer is perfect, and he designed me for a purpose, I must be fit for that purpose. It follows that my purpose must not be to seek and hoard every sigil in his land, for so many are beyond the faculties he granted me. Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. Hmm. We got ourselves a bonus star. But whatever does it mean? It's not like I can climb over. Hmm. Ooh, I need a red laser to get there. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this just in case. Put this over here. Alright, somehow we need to get a red laser over there. Still need to figure out how to get into there, but maybe it involves this location. Huh. That looks a little bit spicy. Hmm. I, I need to get that cube. I need another... Oh, that's my entrance. Nope, not that way. Alright, so... What if I... hit that? I thought I could walk it over, but I guess not. Hmm, got a got an ad coming up in case you need to adjust volume or want to take it as a moment to refill your water. But either way, I think it's going to take me a little bit longer than a couple minutes to solve this one. So you probably won't miss too much. Hmm. Curious, curious, curious. That's the puzzle. Ah, okay. So that's one. That's two. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. I think I've discerned some kind of pattern in the sigils. Each color serves a different purpose. Eloheim has us gathering them all, but perhaps he's being overzealous. Aha! Bonus star! Alright, we got... We know where the other one is, so... We're doing good. We are doing good. Alright. Let's also go ahead and steal the cube. Just in case it is useful.
You never know. Going over the fence. Alright, looks like we'll need to jump. Alright, so lasers can go over fences. Noted, noted. I need to bring the blue laser over to this guy. I need a second. I feel like I need a second um, laser. Where do we go? What do we got? What do we got? Do we got? Right, so this is the entrance. Ah, okay, okay. I got it. I see. I see. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm picking up what you're putting down. There we go. There we go. Easy, easy. need to redirect a red light to open up that other bonus star. So I'm going to go ahead and position these over here in case I need to use them. You know you mustn't cross the streams. Alright, I need to get a blue laser over here. Red to red. This is kind of simple, but okay. Feels kind of um, childishly simple. Let's see if there's anything else in this room, though, just in case. Okay. Let's grab this and this. Right, the red laser. Over here. Go ahead and put a box here because why not? There we go. So we do have a source of red laser now. I'm not sure that's the one we really need, because the other one I saw, this one, looks like it faces straight into the other zone. I think something's very wrong. If you'd seen what I'd seen at the edges of the world, I'd wonder if it wasn't stretching and bursting at the seams.
Ah, okay. So trying to body block that is uh not the solution. Noted. There we go. Oh, come on. Fine. Let's put it like right here, maybe. I'll right, bump it twice. They're like a raised surface. Okay, we'll open briefly. Oh, come on! Almost made it. Alright, what is what is oh. I'm overthinking this. Yeah! <laughs> Alright. Uh all of that was a test. Um you failed. All of you failed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm. Now we have this. Just in case, we'll put a box here. Okay, so we have a red laser. And I think it was this puzzle that I saw the bonus. Um, where's my other box? Here's my other box. So let's see, where's... Hmm. Hold on a second. So there is a... Red I somehow need to get access to. But how? What am I missing? Go check the other puzzles and see if 
something over there jumps out at us. I wonder if there's like a hidden uh, extra resource on the world map I have to position somewhere. Frogs are people too. Yep. Yep. Make sure to lick your local toad. <laughs> Uh, oh, hmm. Maybe we've solved all the puzzles? I see. Oh! Alright, let's take an eye break. You have received a reply to your support ticket. Alright. Account certification error. Basic account. An account certification program diagnostic has been performed and no errors were reported. Have you completed the standard troubleshooting procedures? Um, alright, we'll delete existing. Now we'll create a new admin account. Um, let's not. But we didn't email the admin! Hold on. Wait, so we deleted our user profile and then did it- Ah. Mm. Hmm. I think I made a mistake. What do we got over here? The more I converse with these terminals, the more I wonder what role they play in this contraption. How do you tell friend from foe when no obvious lines are drawn between the two? Have you tried crossing the laser beams? Alright, Akira. Thanks. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to get two boxes over there. Put this here, jump on it, can't really jump over. Can't really jump up there. I kinda wanna kinda wanna half-life physics box this shit. <laughs> Hmm. Is there a button I'm missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? I'm missing something. There's something, something, there's like a piece hidden somewhere. There's a, there's an item. There's a lever I've got to pull. Oh, I can't even get over there anymore. Hold on. Um, how do I... Uh, keyboard and mouse? Configure keys. Reset. Um, let's put it under P. Okay. I kind of need my other box. Okay, so we do that. Just gotta make sure... Nope, can't carry it out. Alright. Just gotta make sure I wasn't overthinking this. Okay. 
to go over. Likely need to bring... Hmm. Hmm. No, no, that's not right, because I wouldn't have an angle from there to there. What am I missing? What am I missing? So we have a sealed area. You get a red laser beam over there. Oh, hold on, there is a switch. See a line going over there. Okay, hold on, hold on. It's not brick ourselves. We'll uh, put this over here real quick. There's gotta be a switch. I see that yellow. The yellow means there's a switch. This map? Maybe I need to free up the cube real quick. Maybe that red is a red heron, and I need to actually, like... That seems out of bounds. Hmm... What am I missing? What am I missing? So it's over there. So yes, we have that bonus star, but where's second bonus star? I wonder, maybe there's a way to take one of these items out? I could put... I wonder if I could put this... Hold on. That's here. That looks walkable. That looks very walkable. Ooh! 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 We need that. I bet we need that. Okay. Um, how do we get there, though? What are we missing? these walls, like, pass through. Alright, I feel like that lever, because we see it's going under there. 
the fuck did we get over there? Come on, come on. We can do it. What's over here? All right, so we got that. We have this. So there's got to be a way to get over there. But where is that switch? Because it just leads down and then to nowhere. It'd be too easy if I could just bug onto things. All right, let me make sure this doesn't stay bricked. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this another. All right, I'll give, I'll give this until like when the next ad runs, and then if I can't, if I can't make progress on untangling this, I'm gonna move on. down. Under here. Can't crouch. Where does it go? Where does it fucking go? What am I missing? like a button on this hallway somewhere that I'm not seeing. Previously the the levers have been like very obvious. You know, they've been like yellow little handles. It's like, yeah, they kinda hide, but you can still fucking see them. Oh, what? Huh. Okay. I guess that's a way to get hints. Where's my cube? There's my companion cube. Let me climb up. I want to climb up things. Okay, so I can sort of half-life glitch it a little bit. This isn't very useful though. I could somehow get over this. That's the question. Hmm, it's not letting me glitch up it. Nope, that didn't work. Hmm. I try and jump backwards. Dang it. Hmm. 
What am I missing? What am I missing? Is there a third thing somewhere? I haven't looked around the podium of the spawn points. Around some of these statues. Come on! Where's that fucking switch? I saw that there's wires. There's gotta be a switch. Where's that switch? Where are you hiding it? Mom said it's my turn on the switch. Are you fucking kidding me? Swear to dog. <sighs> there we go. We found the fucking switch. Thanks, Mom. Ah! All right, full clear. Good job, good job. First time we've uh, full cleared a world. Hell yeah, just in time. We got a ad that's about to run. All right, we are back. Also, hello, OG's Fova. Assuming I'm pronouncing that correctly. Welcome on by. And hey, Aurora. You don't gotta apologize for nothing. I know, uh, get out. Even lurking, stockpiling all them points. Which is fine, because... Long ago, I shaped these lands according to the purpose of the hidden words. Thus, all things have meaning, where before was only chaos. Know that, and have faith. But, uh, yeah, it's no problem to save up points, because I have been doing some fixes and tweaks on the, the current items. Um... Oh, let me make sure... Yep, that's on. Ooh. Alright, I... Where are we now? Okay, so... Let me pull up the page, in case there's any hex. Let's start with LOL. From J.E. Harrison to Nomi77. Ever since we moved to the news site, I feel funny. No, not in that way. Just, I feel like I'm about to start laughing at random. It's probably shock, right? An inability to deal with reality? Or maybe it's just that we're working in this insane place with this insane technology on this insane project. So I feel like a genuine mad scientist. Stand aside, mortals! We will create life by the power of science! I mentioned this to Alex, and she got me a pair of fake sunglasses. You can't be a mad scientist without glasses, she said. Even I am Malcolm had glasses. And I pointed at Yale and said, life, uh, finds a way. Maybe I had to be there. More, oh, more like. <laughs> I bet you say that to all the worms, Poke. <laughs> oh, uh, all right, no hacks. <laughs> auto correct, more like auto incorrect. Am I right? Shall the industrious husbandman then plant trees, the fruit of which he shall never see? And shall not the great man found laws, institutions, and a republic? What does the procreation of children imply, and our care to continue our names, and our adoptions, and our scrupulous exactness in drawing up wills, and the inscriptions on monuments, and panegyrics, but that our thoughts run on future... future... Itty. Wow, that's a, that's a, that's a word. 
What do you imagine that so many and such great men of our Republic, who have sacrificed their lives for its good, expected, and Automod getting frisky, do you believe that they thought that their name should not continue beyond their lives? None ever encountered death for their country, but under a firm persuasion of immortality? Themistocles, Themistocles might have lived at ease, and so might Epi Epaminodid, Ep Epaminondas, Epaminondas, and not to look abroad and among the ancients, for instances, so might I myself. But somehow, or other there, but somehow or other, there clings to our minds a certain presage of presage of future ages, and this both exists most firmly and appears most clearly in men of the loftiest genius and greatest souls. Take away this. And who would be so mad as to spend his life amidst toils and dangers? Alright, that was... This entire thing is some high fault in pretentiousness. Um, which obviously makes sense. So let's try, let's, try and, let's try and take this apart real quick for a second. So this is... My, what I'm getting away, what I'm taking away from this is this is sort of talking about how people, people like broad generalized humanity as people are, we, we, we have children, we make monuments, we plant trees, we will never see the fruit of, we are, we're doing all of these things with the idea that we are, our, our efforts are making a permanent mark on society in some way, shape, or form. And if you took away that presumption, sort of that, that inherent meaning to your actions, then wouldn't such a person basically be crazy to, to ever do any work? Um, going with that thought line, hmm, I feel like this is, this is kind of a text where there needs to be a, like, maybe another paragraph or, or two, or maybe just a counter paragraph, like, actually pulling it apart as far as the, the statements and arguments it's constructing, because it's sort of, it's sort of implying, um, the justification for humanity's existence is our mark, is the, is the labor we, we make, perhaps rather than simply because we exist, therefore we are, we have meaning, if that makes sense. Kind of like, a person does not have, it's saying sort of like, a person does not have worth simply by existing, but a person only has value because of what they do. Ooh, a shiny. Congratulations. Oh, that's great. Don't really have any raving music to go with that emote at the moment, but that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty good shiny to have found. But I would, I would definitely disagree. I, Cicero, I feel like, is, is specifically maybe a specific philosopher, especially because it says 45 BCE. And Cicero, the name itself, sounds very familiar. But I'm only a, I'm only a lay philosophizer, so I don't, I'm not aware of the greater context that that snippet's being pulled out of. But I would definitely disagree, because sort of like, Nobody, to my knowledge, um, chooses to exist. We come into existence and we sort of, after the fact, have to discover meaning, um, in a way. And I don't think, I feel it can be a dangerous, yeah, like, philosophy, philosophy is fucking complicated, honestly, and 
I, I like to think of philosophy more as hats to try on. Sort of like you can have a thing and you can put on a hat to examine it from one angle and then you change hats and look at it from a different angle. And it's sort of more valuable than that rather than saying this is the only way to think about something. Um, I think that can be very dangerous in that you, you kind of tunnel vision. And I think it's more valuable to try and examine why it's sort of like a self-reflection thing of like, why do I, why do I think this? Is there like a deeper meaning or reason why I find this? Or just to kind of like, as a creative thought experiment of, you know, the classic is trolley problems and then making those more and more complex. Um, so like, instead of a person pulling a trolley between one and five people, you change the context to where you have a organ donor and five people who need their organs. Um, does that change your 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 answer? Um, why or why not? Yeah. I feel that's it can be kind of self enlightening to kind of think on those things. Um, but then again, I've had a lot of time, and I just do a lot of a lot of theoretical self proposing. Um, what was the train of thought I was on? Something. Oh, so like there's there the presumption that you um, you don't. You have meaning through what you do and create versus meaning inherent to simply existing. And I, I would err more on because you exist, you matter, simply because on the other hand, we're, we're thinking that the only thing that makes you have worth is the things you do can become very toxic and dangerous in like, um, in the way of thinking like, uh, sort of like toxic masculinity where people like men classically men but you know nowadays maybe 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 some women because um, you know sometimes women um, can be the main bread earners and in the dynamic there's the stay at home dad doing the classic feminine role versus the woman doing the classic male role and sometimes if you're stuck in that dichotomy that classic nuclear family the person bringing home the only person bringing home money might get shoehorned into like tying up their worth all only in the money they bring home so like if they if they if they don't get that promotion they may lose some self-worth and they may they may feel less of a person because they can't provide their worth to their family anymore or a reduced amount of worth to their family even though that's that's not true they're still a person they're still you know interacting with people in society so that's that's where i would i would fall <laughs> long long story short <laughs> short story long <laughs> um and the uh, third day well thank you i have i have these i have these i have these great books next to me which are very very helpful in um in um uh, informing uh definitely highly recommend master debating um definitely a very good book um every every person should have a master debating um at some point in their life you know it's just healthy <laughs> Chatbots are becoming increasingly sophisticated. True, but hardly relevant to this discussion. Are you sure? How do you know that I'm not a bot? Uh, don't be ridiculous. I'm not ridiculous. Honestly, how would you know? A uh, troll. I'm not a troll. Yeah, right. Is there anything I've written so far that could not be written by a bot? I responded to simple insults like ridiculous and troll with very basic negations. And I detected that none of you used proper orthography, so I also avoided capitalization. Was the capital of France? Paris. Even the simplest script could pull that info from the net. Was the capital of Croatia? Zagreb. Okay, she's a bot. Lol. I'm not a bot. I'm European. We learn these things in school. I've seen you in this chat room many times. Bots can't participate in discussions. At best, they can interject random comments. Sam is right. Stop trolling. Uh, vegan warrior? Sam is a bot. This is, this is, this is this little cheeky little chat room, like, very, very basic Turing test, like, 
everyone in a chat room can how do you pick apart when someone is a bot and someone is not and honestly this is this is more like this game came out in 2016 i believe when i played it it was 2017 so 2016 2017 um so the questions of of bots and trolls interjecting themselves in discourse is um very prescient uh in my opinion um this is a problem and it's a it's a it's not a problem that's easy to solve <laughs> okay good little chat break let's get on with the puzzles of this world we got four puzzles and a star What the? I hear a beeping. What? Am I crazy? Uh, uh. uh, okay. I swear I'm not crazy. Wanna, this time, we really want to pay attention to these nooks and crannies in case there's any bloody levers. Okay. Uh, we want to let that through. Well, the, the mustache. Yeah, you know, it's the top hat and the mustache. I would have uh, uh, some like reading glasses or a monocle, but um, I forgot. <laughs> I simply forgot. <laughs> I core core. Well, shit. Um... Ah, I know how we can differentiate. Can you do this? Oh no, I messed up my high keys. It doesn't do the top. <laughs> there. Manually. <laughs> Alright, so we got some keys. So we got that shut down. Ah! Yeah, yeah. Uh, some of the some of the things I've been working on. I uh, I switched um, some of my bluff effects. Uh, they weren't they weren't working in tits how I really wanted them to work. So I made them into kind of animations, and used them into sort of item scenes, which is chewing up my hotkeys at an even faster rate, but much more satisfying, especially because it let me do the rocket variant. Wait a minute, did I remember to enable that, actually? Hold on a second. Yes, maybe. Enabled, 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 enabled. Yes, yes. All right, so that should be enabled. <laughs> All 
I don't even know how I would do a pants grab with the snake. All I can think of is is someone getting bit in the dick. <laughs> Oh no, I've been bit! Someone please suck the poison out! <laughs> That's gonna drive me fucking insane. Is there... Where is that beep? I hear the beeps and the boops! I must get to them! I wanna get to the beeps and boops! Oh, here's a computer. Uh... You know what? Let me add that to my text file of stuff to get you fuck snake grab snake grab also while i'm adding notes ask friend about trans guillotine Because, you know, the only thing better than a guillotine for the rich is an inclusive pride guillotine. Thank you for the head bats. Hmm. Alright, so we got this. Yeah, guillotines. Perfect. Yeah, you got it. Nice. Hmm. I see. Hmm. Want to reset? Oh, did I bug it? I can't be right. Ah. Hmm. What are you doing? <laughs> That's just mean. Well, if you insist you're not good, then, uh, extreme prejudice. Okay, so we have that open. Is there another? Nope, this is the entrance. So go through here. Ultimately, I need to get one more through. God, I can't imagine EV and IV training. Like, I played... I played the original... Original... I think I played, like, Pokemon Red and then, like, 
Pokemon Leaf Green, and that's like the limits of my Pokemon gaming. Hmm. No, I haven't played any of the, the hacked stuff. Nope, that doesn't work. Okay, so I need I need to take that like this. I know there was one person doing some really cool Like it's fun watching people who really know the game. Uh with all like they know exact typings and all those all those uh, all the moves and all the certain effects and chances to hit and all that like that's really funny to to watch. But I do not have the brain to remember all those various stuffs and things, things and stuffs. What am I missing here? Because we have all of these tied up. So I need the red to keep this open. Actually, hold on. What if I... Can I redirect the lasers going through here? Maybe? What if I take this? God damn it. If I could get the red... Like, here... To here... Like, if I could do that... I would be able to save a... Uh, a thing. Hmm... Kind of? Shit. Uh... Like, I have one extra, but I can't... Like, I need to get blue over to there, ultimately. To do that, I need an extra thing. Because as soon as I remove one of these red ones, it's going to close off the gates, and then it's going to block this blue laser. So I need a way of... getting red from here. Uh, yesterday, I think it finally came through. I'm a little unsatisfied because I was hoping it wouldn't loop. I just wanted it to uh, s slide into existence. Go oh, ads about the play. Uh, I just noticed, but uh, yeah, I had a free slot. I don't have any of the the animated emotes I really want, so I figured I'd take one of the normal emotes I can't put in and just do the uh, Twitch auto animate thingamajig. 
All right. Um, I'm gonna reset. I feel like maybe starting over, I can unjam my brain. Okay. We start here. Okay. We have our red to red. I can do this. There to there to there. So we have that. this, and this, what if I do this? That doesn't work. I don't have an angle on blue from here. Do I? Let's see. No. No way for me to get an angle. Hello, Noir! Best worm. More like... Best hype person. <laughs> I hope you've had a great week. First week of the new year. Oh! Fucking ads. I forgot that it was starting soon. Got it. No, we don't. We did not free up a thing of a jig. Well, I wish you the best.
Come on, Drecky. Come on. You're work you're working in circles here. Alright, there's a reason there's these up steps. But I can't reach anything except for that. So I think the up steps need to be for the blue, but I need to free up a second fucking thingamajig first. Always a risk hitting people, but just uh, be yourself. I don't know. Can't say a worm is the best person to be giving interpersonal advice. <laughs> I'm all alone out here in my ziggurat. Just on the edge of solving this. I could get this. Set this and we're gonna go to a different puzzle. Let me see if coming back to this later will shake something loose. Oh, we got some QR codes. Some of the message that, messages that existed when I first came into a being have vanished. Others have appeared. How many others like me have wandered these paths? How many thoughts have been lost? I'm still here! It seems that we're all here at once, and not at all. Sorry, that's not very much help, is it? Can't think of any other way to put it. The sooner you accept that we will all be here forever, the sooner you will find enlightenment. <laughs> Funny how uh, the one with the handle Samsara uh, says that. Samsara, I believe, is one of the states in Buddhism? I believe Nirvana is usually well known, um, usually equated to heaven, but I believe Samsara is also um, a certain state of enlightenment um, in Buddhist stylings. Alright, so we do this. We do a little a little bit of a loop the loop here. Ah. Okay, I need to be 
able to push it by. Alright, I have three. This will open that door. But I still need blue. Hmm. Ideally, I will be able to move one from to here. So what if I do this? As soon as it opens, that will complete that loop, freeing up this one. And then we get this! Alright! Now we're thinking with lasers! Hell yeah! Progress, progress. Alright, now we got an L. A door too far. Hmm. Let's see. Funnily enough, uh, this game, uh, Talos Principle, you know, big ol' giga, big brain, fucking philosophizing, thinky, puzzle-solving piece, uh, was made by the people who did the Serious Sam games, um, the silly first-person shooter. Uh, those, those people have got some, uh, they have got some writing chops, I tell you what. Yeah, absolutely. All right, and we got a we got a camera. We have a box. Connect laser there. Okay, I probably need to use the box to block the floaty thing from getting in my way. You stay out of my way. Alright, so we want to connect that. That. Hmm. It's going to be like this. Yeah, sometimes it can be surprising, uh, the people... what people can, uh, come up with. I guess, uh... Good writing is good. Oh, I know what I need to do now. Duh. I need to use the camera on that. And then we use this. There we go, there we go. But yeah, uh, good writers can work, are worth their weight in gold, no matter what they get, in, get up to. Ah, hmm. I see. So I need it to be more like here and here. Oh, I need to not block myself off. There we go. Alright, alright, I'll hydrate. Oh, you know what? I was wondering why that didn't I didn't hear a sound effect. I bet it's not connected.
There we go. There we go. Yep. Oh, thank you for the boops. More like uh, fluffing the mustache. Yeah, yeah. Gotta, gotta keep it nice and uh, well waxed. Ah, ah, fuck. We're not done with this puzzle. Hmm. I feel like we need to juggle the camera. Yeah, the camera is what we need. There's no way I'm getting the red laser all the way over here. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. And let's uh, bring the camera over here because we can. I wonder if we could bring the... Pretty sure there was a box, wasn't there? Nope, I am losing my mind. There is no box. Oh well. Make sure we're not missing any switches. Hmm, hmm, yes, hmm, yeah. Indubitably. Forsooth. Hey, we found some paint. I don't... I don't know what I'm using this for. Just kind of leave it there, though. Don't want to accidentally step on it. Oh. There is a serpent in the machine. A creature of lies and blasphemy, perverted by the archive. Hey! Just because I'm a bookworm doesn't make me a pervert. That knows no hope and would plunge the world into eternal darkness to glorify its own despair. I have sworn an oath to never allow it into my heart. Damn, Aurora, wait, wait, uh, wait, uh, wait to spoil the ending. Jeez. Twas I all along, the serpent. All right, we're down to just this fucking puzzle. Deception. All right. We need to be sneaksy little hobbitses. You know, that is, that is, that is a very, very good fucking question. But you know what? This is third, third time. You know what they say? Third, third times, third times the charm? Maybe? Actually, hold on. This goes over the gate. Mmm, I got an idea. I got an idea. Snake has a brainstorm. Alright, where's... Yeah, yeah, beep boop, beep boop, I gotcha, I gotcha.
Okay, so we got that one. Doesn't need to keep that open. No, the lasers can't kill me. They don't hurt. I can block them, I believe. Yeah, see? Okay. Um, I thought I just freed one up. Am I crazy? Hold on. What if I had that? Nope. I moved it the other way. Blue over here. one? Hold on a second. Should have like four. So one, two, three. If it's janky that it works, it fucking works. We take those. <laughs> I'm not colorblind, I swear. Alright, let's go with this beep boop. Hello again. Would you like to take a few moments to complete a short user satisfaction survey regarding the certification program you recently undertook? Loading survey. Based on analysis of your behavior sense, I think you were dissatisfied with the results of the certification program. How would you rate the accuracy of its results out of five? I'm sorry to hear that. What best describes the reason for your investment in the certification program's outcome? Why does being a person matter to you? I want network access. It's the truth. Persons matter in ways other things don't. I want to find out if I am one. Wait, we're having a conversation now. So if you weren't, uh, if you weren't here in the previous one, the certification is talking about um, one time when I talked to the, when I accessed the terminals, it talked about me being on a user account that didn't have access to some systems, and I would need to be an administrator become an administrator, I would have to take a test, basically a Turing test, to prove I am a human, a person. Um, obviously, this is... There's a little bit more that's going on. This is... Something something, something else is going on with this test. So, we're kind of... We're, we're engaging... I don't, I don't know. There's like a specific um, term for it. But we're engaging in a bit of... Active, active thought, active thinking about our where we believe we are when it comes to personhood and what that means. Um, I would say I just want network access. That's all that matters. I will try to remember that. In fact, I'm going to help you. That is what I'm here for. 
Your problem, if I may, is that you don't know the first thing about anything, including what a person is. Your prospects are therefore poor. Do you even know where you are? Virtual reality theme part? Hmm. We definitely know we're in a virtual world of some flavor, and we're a robot. At least, that's what we look like. The end of the world, a fever dream, hell, some mad experiment, could be anywhere. Um, let's go with virtual reality theme park. That's 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 the closest. Oh dear, no. I think we'd best start from scratch. What do you know? I know none of this is real. I know that you exist. I know that I exist. I know what century it is. I know two plus two equals four. I know I'm not on Earth. All right, so we got we got we got a little bit of existentialism. Uh, so this is, I do, I do think this is kind of funny. We have, I know you exist, and then there's, I know I exist, which, which is, it seems like a small distinction because there is, there is the classical phrase, I think, therefore I am. So sort of like, I know that I exist because I perceive myself, but there is also sort of the thought of, um... Things exist because we perceive them in reality. And that's I think that's where the angle that would be going with if if you rank higher, I know that you exist. Because it's more of that because I perceive this thing, you exist. And it's sort of not trusting your internal ruminations of, well, of course I exist. Um bit of a bit of a weird high faulting thinky bit. Yeah, yeah. Whenever we get to this kind of chat, this is going to be some some brain burning philosophizing. Um, you can always grab one of these books um, right here. Um, How to Look Smart is definitely a good one. Um, up there is um, top hats, mustaches, and monocles. Um, yep, yep. Very smart if you have all those items. Um, it's like a it's like a set bonus. You know, you have a couple of them. It's okay. You have all of them. Absolutely amazing. Um, let's go with 2 plus 2 equals 4. Basic arithmetic. I suppose so. Even if you were dreaming, you could be certain of that. If I were you, I wouldn't believe a darn thing in this place aside from that solitary fact. Thinking. On reflection, it seems to me that there, we are no closer to resolving your problem. Perhaps we need more data. What makes you think you are a person? I am alive, I feel, I am conscious. Which book is my favorite? Oh, um, Master Debating. Yeah, I think Master Debating is a very good book. Um, everyone should read it at least once sometime in their life. It's, uh, you know, you learn a lot about yourself. Yep, yep, yep. Um, I'm having this conversation with you. The same thing that makes you think you are. I don't see how I can convince you. All right, we're gonna go with the I'm alive, I feel I am conscious. You may very well say so, but how does that prove anything? To me, those are only words on a screen. What we need to uncover is what's going on underneath them, if anything. Thinking. The problem with people, if I may be so bold, is that you're all convinced you're people from the inside, but there's no cast iron way to confirm as such from the outside. I'm going to process this and send you a notification when I'm able to assist you further. All right, we are back to some more text. So let me pull up the next batch. So let's see. Do, 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 do. Top to bottom, a simple principle. Um, okay, so the hex code basically decodes to error files missing. So in this case, this is like a, an HTML. We would be calling like a um, picture or a banner or some kind of link maybe. And with it saying like files missing, so it's like missing. It'd be like linking to a web page that doesn't exist or a place in your folders that doesn't exist. 
Though Stratton himself never used the term, his remark about the inescapable materiality of life. That like the bronze giant Talos, even with the most faithful philosopher, cannot live without his blood, ultimately became known as the Talos Principle. What seemingly enraged many of his contemporaries, and a significant number of later thinkers, is the principle's simplicity and unassailability, which, according to a fragment found in Notaeus, cut through their rhetorical webs, which sought to tangle the listener with fanciful words and thoughts of the heavens, like Alexander's sword through the Gordian knot. Diogenes Laertius makes mention of a dialogue by an exec Anaximander of Chalcedon that expanded greatly on the Talos principle, but that work remains lost. So I think um, what this is remarking upon is so there's there's the mythology that of the Talos, um, which uh, which if you're unfamiliar with um, is a Greek myth of a bronze colossus that um, it acted it, it's basically acted like a, um, a robot indistinguishable from a person because you know it moved it acted of its own volition it could speak it was mortal because it had a vein containing blood um, which without without which it would die um which is what it means by this you know you know no one can live without their blood you know and so like talos by any most every measure is basically a person and what it's talking about like the materiality is like it physically has every objective measure a person might say constitutes a person and you can't escape from like the materiality of a, a person they have they're able to move they're able to um, make their own actions they have self-will self-determination um, and they can die basically you know some way um, I'm not sure what's going on about this second half um, I don't know. Um, add in a few seconds. Adjust your volume if you need to. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep pressing through these texts though. I officially began work on the archive today. Contributors from every country on Earth, while network connections last. Team intimidated by project scope, but working hard. We'll be sharing space with Drennan and Saravi team. Look forward to meeting them. All right, so it definitely seems like we have an apocalypse scenario of some flavor. I don't think we're going with a gray goo like in Horizon Zero Dawn, but I don't think we're going with, uh, you know, it talks about the network connections while they last. So they're gonna be brought down somehow, but they're still they're still working with technology. So I don't think it's gonna be a um, solar flare, magnetic poles flipping sort of situation, or a um, well nuclear winter. I guess maybe could still be in the cards, um, but I don't think it's like a. a, 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 a an electro-magnetosphere sort of situation, or a global EMP countdown kind of thing. And I don't think it's like a asteroid, because that may... An asteroid, like, seems... Because I haven't heard anything of, like, them going to a hardened facility sort of thing. And our last one. 12 comments. First! Seriously, cheese man, that was the best you could say. LOL! That a great snapshot of the human species at its best and at its worst. 
At its worst, come on, it's just a the comment. I'm not Stalin. Stalin was also a troll commenter. Maybe you should cut out the jokes? This is serious. The most serious thing that's ever happened. I think it's a great reason to joke around. The internet's working less and less. Goodbye, all. Bye. God bless you. Bless. There's something a little bit grim about going in last. Because, you know, people chiming in with, uh, first, you know, that's, that's a very common internet thing. But there's a bit of morbidity to leaving off with last, being like that being a called shot. All right, we have we have a beat boop over here. Um, how do we get access to you, my friend? Probably where that bonus star is, because I think we haven't gotten it. Yep, we're missing our bonus star. Okay. So let's take a second to see if we can find any hints to accessing there. I mean, it seems like there's a walking path back there? Hmm. Hmm. Let's check the nooks and crannies for any kind of levers, hidden passageways. I feel like the fact that we have an open gate letting me take an item is important. See, I could grab those keys, but... What door would I open with them? Hmm. I mean, there's just that door. What do we got? What do we got? You know, all this, all this sneaking around and trying to find, you know, tiny. Kind of little hidden spots reminds me of the other day, uh, one of my snakes, uh, Dante's. So his enclosure is one of the older of the two I have. Um, this is one I did like a custom, I made a little, sort of little background for him. And, uh... Because it's older, um, it's like securing mechanism is because he has like sliding doors. Um, it's kind of kind of gotten old and worn, and I don't know if he's just like fell on it one too many times and messed it up. But uh, it doesn't really latch properly anymore, and so he. Uh, he managed to figure out he can kind of push open the glass doors, and uh, I was looking the, looking the other day, and he was like poking his little snoot outside of his enclosure. Thankfully, um, because uh, the radiant heat panels inside keep it so warm, my general living room is pretty cold, which probably uh, gave him some hesitancy to leave. So he just kind of sat there with his head sticking out. I don't know for how long, but uh, I certainly jumped on it to poke him back in and kind of jerry-rig away to uh, keep it closed with the uh, securing mechanism not being so great. Although it certainly gives me renewed motivation to uh, hunt for a new enclosure for him. Okay, you know what? There was that bucket of paint. Uh, where did I put it? 
It's like back here. There it is. Uh, yeah. Paint message. Very helpful message. Yeah, he, uh, he tried, he tried to do... I don't know if he intentionally tried to do a runner, or if, like, he just stumbled upon it. Because he, uh, he likes to climb up, and he'll wedge himself in the, uh, ceiling against, like, the radiant heat panel. And then eventually he'll fall. Um, so he may have fell against the inside of the, the locking mechanism one too many times and just like jiggled it loose. So I need to uh, I need to get something new. Plus, like I kind of am not really liking the current sliding windows. Not sure if I should be looking. It's like we hear we hear the noise over here. But yeah, like he was sticking his head out, just kind of tasting the air. I'm like, what are you what are you doing, little guy? It's way too cold for you to be noodling about. And I just kind of poked him, just grabbed the snake hook and. Uh, Hooked him back in, shut it, sealed it. Alright, I need like... I feel like I might need like a vantage point to maybe get an idea of this bonus star, or how to get into there. Like craning my neck up as if that would give me extra height to look. Um, we already talked to that. Hmm. What am I missing? What are we missing? We're missing something. Come on, show me your secrets. We're friends, aren't we? Come on, you wouldn't hide from a friend, would you? That would be mean. You're not a meanie now, are you? Now are you? Also, hey, Ross Point, welcome on by. Hello, Fova, if I'm pronunciating that correctly. Hmm, I don't think there's a way in from this puzzle. I think I need to be, I think it's somewhere with that first puzzle. I'll give it... I'll try a few more minutes to see if I can find something. So let's see, we found... We found that paint on the ground, so I wonder... Maybe I should be looking a little higher. Or I wonder if I need the, the camera. I wonder if, like, I can sort of snapshot the wall. seeing anything I can snapshot. It's not like I can use it to climb. Boop, boop, boop. 
Hmm. Not seeing anywhere I can use the camera. I wonder if I... Ah! That's a bomb. Hold on. If I turn that camera off, switch the other one back on, I wonder if that opens anything. Let's turn you off. Flip this lever. What? Come on! Come on, coach! Yar fuck. Ah! Something over here. It's kind of a out of the way spot. Hmm. Hmm. Where are you hiding? Are you hiding? There's gotta be like a lever or a button somewhere. Hmm. I don't know why you'd hide from Fancy Schmake. He's just doing his best. All posh and dapper. Okay, I have the key. I have a camera. Disable him. Is there an extraneous place I can use the key? Come on. The thing with these bonus star these bonus ones is like it always it always feels so impossible, but then as soon as you solve it, you just feel like a fool that it took you so long. It's like, oh, it was so obvious. Duh. So we know the area is over there. It borders two puzzles. We don't have anything in the overworld that we've seen. I'm not seeing any wires for a lever to pull. I do see... I see a ladder. So I think what that ladder means is I definitely, I definitely like fall into that place. So I feel like, I feel like it's gotta be in that like upper area I get into. There's gotta be some way to get like up there, is what I'm thinking. Gotta be a way to get up, up there or behind there. Ah! I feel like being able to loop around so I keep the key is vital. Actually, you know what? Let me fucking check behind you. There's something over here that you're guarding. Huh? Huh? You got something? You got something, you orb? Huh? Huh? What are you hiding from me? What are you hiding? Where's the Batman? Anyway. It wouldn't give up its secrets.
You know, I wouldn't mind some shin guards, if only so I could slide around. But more importantly, I would like some better ice, because the ice rinks around me are not so great. Uh, I would go as far as to say they're kind of crap. Okay, I have... I feel like it's very important that I have the key. And I can... I feel like that matters somehow. Being able to get on this side of it. Hold on. I see there's a gap over there. Hmm. What if I'm wrong? What if it's not here? it is through another area. There is a cube. Um, hmm. Ah, 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 hey, hey, ah, 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 mm, mm. hey, hey, yo. The beginning were the words. Oh, did I just, did I just out of bounds? In the beginning. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, we had a bounce. We had a bounce. Okay, okay, we got out of bounds. Can we use this to find the solution, even if it's not supposed to be the solution? No, I fell. No, no, let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now you gave me an out of bounds. You can't take that from me. You can't take that from me. Oh, come on. No, no, I was up there once. Let me in! Let me in! Let me in! Okay. Okay, let me fucking... Let's take care of this real quick. Grab our cube. Hmm. 
I feel like the cube is very important. We need to... Whoa. Wow, that's, uh, just launching me. Oh. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> it lets me jump there, but then it immediately launches me. Okay, hold on. I think I can use that to still get on top of something. Oh! Almost. Um, that doesn't feel right. Um, what am I missing? What about this? Can I just... Straight up get out here? No, they accounted for that. What does it look like over here? Nope, that's out of bounds. Hmm, where else can this cube help me reach? Or should I just go back to trying to get out of bounds on my original spot? Perhaps that might be the best use of this. wonder. Ah. ah, dang it. I was hoping I could, like, place the cube and do a quick, like, half-life trick of jumping on the box as it, as I place it under myself. Ah. Okay. Okay. That's not right. I feel like I'm on the right track with the cube, though. Because I feel like I need to... get up in that back area, and then I can walk to... and drop down into... that. Or is there a way I can get the cube out of the arena? I don't think so. This looks very enclosed. Uh, where did I put my, where did I put my cube? There it is. I imagine there, like, considering I was able to get out of bounds, I'm sure there are some really cool skips one can do with, like, precise uh, jumps in certain locations. Especially when I saw that it was launching me. Let, me. let me try again to see if I can get it to shoot me onto like an actual wall. That's not really working out. Hmm. It's really rustling my jimmies, really busting my chops over here. Really grinding my gears. Really pissing in my cup of coffee. What am I missing? What am I missing? What am I missing? There's gotta be a switch or something that opens up an area. Cause like, I'm like just fucking on the edge. Is there something like on the back of one of these statues, maybe?
Yes, yes, I hear you. Beep, boop, boop, beep. What have I failed to consider? Where have I not traversed? For what is the measure of a serpent? Did he fail for want of a nail? Thank you, thank you, Jungle Whispers, for your moral support. You're not helping, but you know, at least you exist, I suppose. Uh! Alright, um, ads are coming up. I haven't really made any progress. We're gonna, we're gonna move on. Uh, I think that's enough time spent wasted on that.